Hey everybody, Tony Gohard here once again for Punks Doing Stuff. And uh, today is the video that I'm actually going to start getting started on the Australian punk and metal scene. This is probably the third or fourth time I've tried opening this video and every time I just keep getting frustrated so I'm just going to wing it. Anyways, uh, I decided to start it here because there's a pretty cool little rock structure behind me and I thought that might be kind of cool to look at seeing as I just basically do videos wherever I am. So. I am only here because I was stopping by to pick up some stuff at the store and then I saw this thing. Anyways, we're going to jump into the first band. Uh, this first band is a metalcore band from uh, Byron. I believe it's Byron, Australia. And they are awesome. I have been listening to them for kind of a while. So I'm going to drop a clip of it in right here and then I'm going to get some details of the band. And there we go, that was an awesome song, and that is an amazing band. Uh, the song is called Smoke Em If You Got Em, and that was from Parkway Drive. Again, from Byron, in uh, I think it was New South Wales, or New Wales, something like that. Um, the point is, the band is awesome, and they've been around since 2003, just tearing everything up. Fun fact, the dude from, um, from the band, he's got a brother, and his brother is also in a band. And that band is called uh, 50 Lions. If you've heard that name before, it's probably because you play slot machines or something. Because I think that's where he got the idea from. So we're going to jump into a little bit of that band. They play more of like a hardcore punk as opposed to, um, you know, what, uh, whatever you want to call uh, Parkway Drive. So we're going to jump into that and then uh, you guys can check it out and then I'll get into some details on that band. So there we go, that was 50 Lions, um, also from Byron, Australia. They started about two years after Parkway Drive, so they had a little bit of catching up to do, and they also do play a different style too. As Parkway Drive was more metalcore, um, 50 Lions are more old school hardcore, which I fucking love. So that is awesome. They are from uh, that song, that little bit, Nowhere to Run. And all of that is available on their band camp. Um, well, actually, it's not their band camp. It's Six Feet Under's uh, record, Six Feet Under Records, um, their band camp. And they have a whole slew of releases. Uh, I was scrolling through and I started to get lost because they do have a lot of stuff on there. So definitely check those guys out. Check out that label because they do have a lot of stuff on there. I didn't have a chance to be able to check out all of everything or really anything because I'm trying to do this quick. But I am going to check out some of that stuff. Now I'm going to keep on reading and then get into another band. Alright, so next band we got coming up uh, is going to be Emil and the Sniffers. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing Emil, Emil right, and I'm probably not because, you know, I tend to not say things the right way. Anyways, Emil and the Sniffers, um, we're going to jump into them right now. I'm going to drop a little clip of one of their songs in so that you guys can check it out. To me, it seems kind of like very old school punk rock. Um, a bit pub rock also, which is one of the things that they do classify themselves as. So you can check out that little bit of the clip right here. And there you have it. That was from their song uh, Cup of Destiny off of their self-titled. Now with Emil and the Sniffers, they are a more recent band. Uh, started in 2016 and it's only 2020 so it's only been four years so they are pretty recent but they are definitely getting up there uh, they are from Melbourne in Australia so that's where they're from um, I guess they all it doesn't really have a whole lot of details on how they met up and all that I mean that probably is I just probably didn't read it completely thoroughly but anyways um, that's what they're doing again that was from their self-titled they do have a couple of uh, other releases I think they have one release actually but it happens to be from two of their EPs so uh, you can check those out also they've been getting a lot of good press too from um, Pitchfork, NME, All Music stuff like that so they are definitely getting up there and I do 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 strongly suggest you check them out because they do seem like they are a lot of fun in case you couldn't tell by that video does look like they kind of just do whatever they want where they want when they want but we are going to jump into something a little less fun a little bit more on the dark side but at the same time somewhat holy um we are going to jump into horde and uh if you have any any background on black metal or more specifically unblack metal this is basically where it started 
and um, well the unblack metal side anyway and it does get kind of crazy so I'm gonna drop a little clip of one of the videos of their songs in right here and then you can check that out and then I'll get into some of this craziness right now So this next band that we're going to jump into is going to be another metalcore band. Actually, um, there was a lot and a lot, a lot of uh, metalcore bands that I could have picked from. And I just kind of picked them at random. Maybe I'll just do a metalcore video someday. Make it a specifically Australian metalcore video. Who knows? But this is another metalcore video. I mean, uh, another metalcore band. I'm already jumping ahead of myself. Uh, this band is called I Kill the Prom Queen. And I remember that, uh, that name from a while ago. A good long while ago and I remember hearing the name and seeing the shirts and all that crap but they were uh, you know they were around way back when I was still in school this one was an uh said that it starts up in 2001 so that's when the band started I'm gonna drop a clip um, I might even be able to find a music video or something but I'm gonna put a clip of something down there so that way you can hear what it sounds like and then I'll jump into a little bit more of the details on the band and you know their their breakup because they are not together actually I looked it up and they have broken up so uh, just check this out and then I'll be back with some more of the details. All right, so again, that was I Killed the Prom Queen. Uh, the song was called Say Goodbye. And um, with the band, they come from... Uh, Adelaide, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Adelaide in Australia. I'm not 100% where that is, but um, if you're from there, that's where they're from. So that would be pretty pretty awesome to be able to say, yeah, I'm from the fucking same place as them. They have done uh, three studio albums. They've done a split and, um, you know, released singles and all that stuff. And with them, it's kind of weird to be able to track, you know, the active years because it looks like they were on again, off again, on again, off again. And it looks like it was, um, they started 2000 and then went on through 2017. But like I said, it was on again and off again. So they were doing their thing and then uh, I guess just kind of broke up for whatever reason. There is a long list of past members. So that means that something happened with somebody somewhere, something. Uh, people either came in, left, uh, had their own reasons. And then a lot of people, I know generally people think, oh, well, you lost your guitarist, just get another guitarist or drummer or whatever. And it's not always that easy. You have to be able to find somebody who uh, not only can do like the perfect timing and play good, but they also have to be able to get along with everybody else. It all depends on personality, attitude, stuff like that. All of it all combined together and also being able to play, you know, what needs to be played. So there's a lot of different factors in there that a lot of people don't really think about. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to put links for, uh, links in the description for all of the videos, um, stuff that I put up as well as social media accounts that I can find, uh, band camp and whatnot like that. Some way to, uh, support the band because, you know, you can always support the band after they've already split up and you never know. It might just force them out of hiding. So, um, that's going to wrap it up for this, uh, this first Australian video. I do want to get another one done. I'm going to look up some other bands, um, see all what stuff I can find. But again, that's going to be that for this. So hit the like button, subscribe, share the video. Um, some people might already know about these bands because a lot of them are like super, super new. But, you know, bring up some nostalgia and all that crap. So um, that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but there will be a video coming soon.